Hi everyone, it's Dr. Oteri Tsaia here and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about a condition known as plantar fasciitis or what people commonly refer to as heel pain. So plantar fasciitis is an inflammation of a ligament that runs on the bottom of the foot. Um, here we have our foot model and this is our heel bone and the plantar fascia starts from here and inserts in our forefoot bone. So it goes from here to here. So repeated stress to this ligament um, causes um, a lot of pain, particularly around this area. Um, and that's what's uh, commonly known as uh, plantar fasciitis. Plantar means bottom of the foot, fascia means a ligament, and itis means um, inflammation. So if you put the words together, it's inflammation of that ligament that runs on the bottom of your foot. So uh, the patient will report a lot of pain first step in the morning, um, but the pain tends to get better um, after you walk on it um, or as the day progresses, but the pain might come back if you stand for a while or um, walking for a while. So some of the causes of plantar fasciitis include wearing shoes that are not supported, weight gain, Foot mechanics, meaning uh, or foot type, meaning if you have like a flat foot or a high arch or a, an abnormal gait or the way that you walk can cause an uneven distribution of weight um, when walking or standing, um, which can then cause a lot of strain and stress in the plantar fascia. Um, there's also tight Achilles tendon or um, the gastric muscle uh, being tight. And then also uh, increase in physical activity or exercising without wearing the appropriate shoe gear. Um, there are other things that could cause plantar fasciitis, but these are uh, the most common things that could cause that. So treatment for plantar fasciitis includes uh, wearing supportive shoe gear. Generally speaking, if you can pick up your shoe and bend it in half like a taco, that's not supportive enough for you. Um, you also would need um, orthotics. There's the prefabricated orthotics or shoe inserts. There's also a customized um, orthotic. This is the brand of prefabricated that we carry in the clinic. Um, it's very, um, a lot of patients will give us good feedback with this orthotics. Um, and a customized one who will get an impression of your foot and send it up to the lab so that they can make something a little bit more customized for your foot type. There's also physical therapy and shockwave therapy. There's cortisone injection or steroid injection as well as uh, stem cell injections. And then lastly, there is surgery. Now today I'm going to be talking to you about the surgical uh, procedures that we, we offer for uh, plantar fasciitis. There are two types. There is the EPF or endoscopic plantar fasciotomy or the pill-pause radiofrequency coblation with PRP injection. I'm going to explain to you what these means, okay? So both pr procedures, the EPF and the endoscopic plantar fasciotomy and the toe pause are both minimally invasive procedure. Um, the EPF though involves making two uh, tiny incisions on the side of the foot around the heel bone and what it is essentially is cutting about two thirds of the plantar fascia so that there isn't um, repeated strain onto um, the plantar fascia. Um, that's the EPF and then the toe pause which at the end of this video I'm going to insert a little clip of me performing uh, the toe pause and or um, it is a wand that releases small bursts of radio wave um, energy that essentially um, micro debrides and removes um, small scar tissue in the plantar fascia. I also like to inject PRP with this procedure. Um, PRP stands for platelet-rich plasma. Um, it's just taking a sample of the patient's blood, about uh, 15 cc's. We put it in a centrifuge and spin it around. Um, the plasma is separated from the platelet, and the plasma is what's injected into the injured area. It contains a lot of growth factors and cytokines, and just good proteins to help uh, heal an injured area. Um, so, uh, 
with this video, I hope you are able to better understand what plantar fasciitis um, is, the causes of plantar fasciitis, and the different uh, treatment modalities that we have for plantar fasciitis. I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more in the future. Thank you.